All right, the way this recording program, this recording this tutorial works is it, it receives sound wave sound, all right, like a wave. And that is coming from my mixer here, all right? Now, I'm sure that I could set it up to where you would only hear the auto-tune vocals only, but you're going to hear a mixture of my voice and the auto-tune voice. And it's not going to sound all that spectacular. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record, like, something that I might say. We're just going to mess around. Nothing, nothing real, all right? It's just going to be all just a bunch of gibberish. And I'm going to say words and make sentences, <laughs> like a freestyle or whatever. And I'll go back when I play it after I record what I'm going to say. We'll just, uh, you'll hear it with the auto-tune only, all right? So we'll do that. All right, so let's just get this auto-tune going right here. Let's see what we got here. Mm, we're doing auto-tune right now. When you do this auto tune, something like that, right? When we're doing this auto tune, when you do this auto tune, people gonna be walking by your room like, oh my god, what the hell was that noise? All right, let's just do something like that. All right, let's actually arm this for recording. <laughs> When you do this auto tune, people gonna be walking by your room like, oh my god, what the hell was that noise? When you do this auto tune, people gonna be walking by your room like, oh my god. I don't like that. Let's do it again. When you do this auto tune, people gonna be walking by your room like, oh my god, what the hell was that noise? Now see, when I said noise, it went all it went it went all crazy, but I could smooth that out with my smooth auto tune method. I know it's not gonna sound all that great right here. Let's hear it. When you do this auto tune, people gonna be walking by your room like, oh my god, what the hell was that noise? See how the noise went kind of kind of pitchy. I was supposed to turn this down here anyway. Uh, the noise part is kind of glitchy, but I know how to fix all that. Let's say if I was really doing a recording and really making some real shit here and actually laying down some vocals, I'd use my smooth auto tune method. So we got that first little part, right? Let's see what else we can find. What the hell was that noise? So we need to come up with something to say next. But when we do come up with what we're going to say next, we need to record it, right? So we're going to have to jump down to this next track, which we also have auto tune effects. We need to make sure it's set to B major. All right, there we go. And we're going to enable that one. So we're going to continue on. That's why I got two tracks. I do this even when I record real verses and real hooks and real everything. You know what I'm saying? Um... Let's say my hook has a, a the center, the left, and the right, right? So I, have the, I might have some soft left, soft rights in there. So I have a center. I'll have two tracks for the center so I can record it. Basically, when you do a hook, you're recording the same. I'll just give you a little insight. When you do a hook, you, you record yourself saying the exact same thing like three times or maybe even five times. You'll do it three times if you're doing a center left and right. The left and rights are going to be panned, you know, like 75 all the way to, you know, you might want to go 100. I don't usually go 100%, but let's say, you know, 90% left and 90% right. But they're actually, you're saying that you can't just copy and paste. You're actually, you got to do the overdub. You got to sing it, and then you got to come back and sing it again, saying the exact same thing, and you got to come back and sing it again three times. That's center, left, and right. And they're going to be panned respectively, all right? Uh, if there's five and there's you're doing some soft lefts, like you have one going 90% left and you want one at 50% left, it's going to sound more thicker. Um, you might change the tonality of your voice, you know what I'm saying, or do a little harmony in there, and that's going to be fit, pan 50%. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting into that, but that's not really, I really shouldn't be doing that. That's all in my DVD tutorial. But I, the point I'm trying to make is I use two tracks for every vocal element so that I can just jump down and continue recording. Uh, as far as the what they call vocal comping and all that, uh, you don't. I don't record myself doing this a whole bunch of times and then have someone comp it for me and find the best takes i just get the best take and if i if i don't get the best take right here i'll just redo it and then once i get something that sounds good here i'll jump down to my next one let's say if i'm doing a hook and i'll start it'll actually start right here again and i'll, I'll go i'll get this one for recording and i'll mute this one because i can go along with the beat and i'll say the exact same thing over again 
If I wanted to, I could sing along with it. Just know that as you sing along with it, and if you have everything unmuted, all the uh, – I'm not going to get into that. It just has to do with all the delays adding up because you're not saying it at exactly the same time because it's an overdub, and you'll start to get more and more off time. So if you mute it and you just go with the beat and move what you feel, usually you'll just be right on point, all right? It's all personal preferences. Anyway, so then I record here saying the exact same thing. But we're just coming up with a rough draft, right? So we just need to come up with a melody. So I'm not getting into all that stuff, really. We're just going to jump down here, and we're going to continue on and come up with something to say next. All right, so we need to come up with something else. Let's see here. So we jump down to the next track. Let's uh, arm that right there. God, what the hell was that noise? So they bust through the door with a shotgun. All right, something like that. Let's see. God, what the hell was that noise? So I grab my shotgun, busting down the door now. Gonna see what the hell is going down. Something like that. God, what the hell was that noise? So I grab my shotgun, busting down the door now. Gonna see what the hell is going down. God. What the hell was that noise? So I grab my motherfucking shotgun, but no, that's wrong. God. <laughs> What the hell was that noise? And I grab my motherfucking shotgun, buzz down the door now, gotta see what's going down. You know, I could just change it up. Right? God, what the hell was that noise? So I grab my shotgun, buzz down the door now. Yeah, like that. God, what the hell was that noise? And I grab my shotgun, buzz down the door now, gonna see what the hell is going down. Something like that? Do you guys like that? I don't like that. God. You see, you gotta experiment. You just gotta come up with something that sounds good. God. What the hell was that noise? So I grab my shotgun, busting down the door now. Gonna see what the hell is going down. So I grab my shotgun, bust down the door now. Gonna see what the God. What the hell was that noise? So I grab my shotgun, busting down the door now. Gonna see what the hell is going down. And now you gotta continue, cause, uh, the melody and the way it was going, I kind of changed it to a fast rap. So you got to kind of, I got to continue on that. So we'll jump over here and we'll continue. Let's hear it first. What the hell was that noise? So I grab my shotgun, busting down the door now. Gonna see what the hell is going down. I just increased the volume a little bit right there. What the hell was that noise? So I grab my shotgun, busting down the door now. Gonna see what the hell is going down. All right, so let's jump over here, and we'll come up with something to come up after that. All right, this is the rough draft. We're just coming up with something. Of course, this wouldn't be a real song. And this is the rough draft. This is where you can just fuck around and uh, come up with something, you know what I mean? And then once you get something, you like all the lyrics, and you like the flow, you listen and you listen and listen to it, you sing along with it, sing along with it until you got it in your head and you know exactly how it goes. And then you, you mix it down, solo these tracks, mix them down to one vocal, and then if you want to be all cool, you know what I usually do, go F two to get rid of my transport there. I'll zoom in and I'll uh, do my little slip editing. All right. I actually want to see more of this since it's low. And I'll come in here with some crossfades. I like to be zoomed in when I do that. So I'll come like this. And just fade in the ends, you know, nothing spectacular. And then I'll cross, I'll do the slip editing on that one like that. Let's just say if this is something I was going to be I was like, yeah, that sounds tight, yo. I'm going to make a song out of this, <laughs> which I wouldn't. Now going to see what the hell is going down. Now going to see what the hell is going down. It might be a little loud. I'll end up turning that down a little bit. So. See what the hell is going down. When you do this out of tune, people gon' be walking by your room like, oh my god. What the hell was that noise? So I grab my shotgun, busting down the door now. Gonna see what the hell is going down. 